So, kaschid dhiraha. When we say some valorous person who decides to. First thing, the sense organs are created in the way of going externally. And only few people who are valorous decide to turn it inwards. But who are these valorous people? What does that mean? That is the key question. Because for who, if it is if it is so such a difficult path, then why will one choose it? And if it is, uh, if there are some people who still go on that path, why are they choosing? There are two questions here. If it's difficult path, why should or why will one choose it? If some people are choosing it, why will they choose it? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of conundrum. It's a contradictory ideas. Why will one choose this path which is a difficult path? Because <clears throat> and who are these people who are valorous people who we say are brave? Until and unless there is some attachment until and unless there is some expectation, until and unless attachment, expectation, we are talking in the sense of a desire, until and unless there is hatred towards this, there is no possibility, towards this means this world, there is no possibility of turning the mind towards the self. There is no possibility. Even if we because of our ego, desire to go towards the self. Even if we, because of our ego, push it towards the self, it will not stick to it. It is like that, um, they have a saying in Tamil, even if you apply oil throughout your body and <laughs> do a topsy turn and all that on sand only that sand which sticks to your body will stick you cannot make new sand stick to your body no only that much amount what does that mean here only that which your karma allows that can be ok then fate we come to the same subject. It's all fat. <laughs> a boy says, it's all fat. He's a fat <laughs> person. So instead of it say, saying it's all fat, he says it's all fat. So then again we come to that same question. It's all fat. And I should not do anything. No. That is not the point. See, in Yoga Sutra, <clears throat> When discussing about, see this, this, uh, Vagi, Shavya, this, this great Rishi, okay, he, through the yoga, he attains the knowledge of all his past births. It is possible. Like, uh, Buddha gained the knowledge of past 500 births. That is what is called as Jataka tales. He remembers what, what was he and he tells his disciple Ananda, Ananda, you were that and I was this. You were that Brahmin, I was this Shudra in this birth. In that birth, you were the dog and I was this cat. In the other birth, you are the elephant and I was the Mahoth. So in each one of the birth, there is always this relationship between Ananda and him. He tells that. So, <clears throat> this Jaygi Shapya, he is asked, Sir, you remember all the past births. Now, which among those experiences you have enjoyed, which among those experiences is the best one? The most blissful, most happy. So he says, nothing. When we see 
we see it's like uh, the the politics which we see here and in other places there is a party which promises a great lot and people vote for that party and in next election they choose the other party so it is always like that we lured by these kind of promises we also start choosing wrong things i keep repeating until and unless you don't experience the pain pain until and unless you don't experience the pain it is very difficult to enter the spirituality the pain should be so much that we have to see there are two examples which they we normally give in the class which is the desire for the knowledge should be in such a way that it is like this fellow whose head is on fire he will not ask for mineral water even if there is some sewage water he will just jump into it he wants to quench his fire that's all just uh, annihilate his fire that's all remove his fire or if you push someone in water keep him under water all he wants is to come out and breathe nothing else he deserves nothing else that's the only thing he wants so that is the kind of desire we have to have to for the self but pain we do experience pain but there are two things when people experience pain they always have this idea like the politician party this fellow is worse than that fellow that fellow is worse than this fellow the same idea so this pain i have gained is worse then the previous one we don't experience the pain to be the absolute pain we have not reached that we experience pain a we experience pain we compare it with other pain and we just get rid of it b even if we have pain we try to avert it by acting stupidly we don't let that pain linger we can't that's not who we are so we try to avert it by doing something stupid so the first thing we have to experience that pain that doesn't come at any point because it's like these people who are uh, smokers they have this pain they'll go out and smoke <laughs> they have a pleasure they go out and smoke <laughs> good smoke bad smoke worse smoke doesn't really matter they want an excuse for smoking so like that here also we try to avoid this by some other activity which will keep our mind away from this only when you have the strength to face it head on we will be interested in spirituality the spirituality this this dakshinamurti stotra or the bhajagovindam which we saw it is not about religion it is about spirituality we said bhajagovindam bhaja govindam bhaja means worship worship who govinda govinda means vishnu worship vishnu that is how it should be translated literally and i didn't explain it in the sense of worshiping vishnu or this dakshina murti worshiping shiva no that does not mean that i interpreted it wrongly no that is the traditional interpretation this is how it should be interpreted i am interpreting from the standpoint of the truth 
So, like our Puranas, they are all depiction of the truth through a story. For people who cannot understand, like Pidibisa, uh, Stri Bala Andha Jado Vapasthama, Stri Bala Jada, Stri Woman, Bala Kid, Andha, Blind, like that Jada, we are not. Like that, we saw the not things and etc. So, there we saw it's not shamanistic idea and all. We explained how it was. So, similarly here also, if we don't gain the strength to face this head on, the pain if we try to avert, which we normally do, we will never be entering this spirituality. Bajagovindam will just remain as a, a religious text. And religion, we are not interested. No one is interested. We are not interested means I am not saying I am not interested in religion. I am saying we in general sense. We think religion is stupidity. Because somebody said religion is opium for whoever that is. So, we we don't know about our religion. We are not interested about religion. We don't want to listen about our religion. That is one side. At least are we spiritual? No. We are near, in Hindi there is a proverb. Dobi ka kutta na ghar ka na ghat ka. Dobi. <laughs> she saw a movie called Dobi it seems. <laughs> So, Dobi, Dobi means a washerman. Or in this movie, uh, American Ritter Girl, she loves a washerman. So, Dobi, Dobi means washerman. Ka Kutta, his dog. Kutta means dog. Dobi's dog, the washerman's dog. Na ghar ka, na ghat ka. It doesn't belong to either the house nor the place where he washes the clothes. Meaning it will run from here to there, there to here. We are also neither spiritual nor religious. We don't really live. We exist even if that, 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 that word existence, that we exist is also a little respectable word for referring to us. I am I'm, I'm using the word exist in the sense of the stone, the tree, the plant. They also exist. They breathe. They eat. They live, they are afraid, they are happy. So, what is the difference between that? Now, I am not even comparing us with an animal. I am talking about a tree, plant. They have this recording nowadays. You heard this recording of the plant crying. There is this boss who had researched on this and he was respected for understanding that the plants do have a life and they also show their emotions and all that. But now with all these powerful mics, they have this recording of plants. That is how they cry. Search it in your YouTube. You will see. It's like some Terminator movie sound. <laughs> That's how they cry. Meaning they also have emotions. We also have emotions. Why I am talking about plants? We don't even respect plants. 
the dogs cats oh cat oh dog all that sometimes molly <laughs> is loud sometimes not <laughs> so we do have that love for animals but we don't even know what plants are there outside we just ignore them at least out of your oh they have a dog in their house at least out of your they know that there is a dog and that dog is this high this uh, it's this tall and this uh, weight and that should try we know about that dog but have you seen that plant in front of their house what plant now there is a plant in front of their house next to the gate was it there we don't know just ignore that in our superfluous life in our superfluous existence that plant does not have any space does not have any space like many things so until and unless we experience that pain and until and unless we want a solution to avert that pain from recurring or avert it completely until and unless we want that no one can change nothing can change us you cannot change anyone i keep repeating this again and again in bhagavad gita bhagwan krishna says beautiful प्रकृति यांति भूतानी निग्रह किं करिष्यति दट इज लाइक अ मंत्र टू मी ऐ वॉज लाइक वेरी नो एनर्जेटिक एंड ऑल दट लॉजिक टू मच लॉजिक एंड ऑल दट ओके आई डू दट एंड वन डे इट वॉज लाइक अ टाइट स्लैप प्रकृति यांति भूता प्रकृति मीन नेचर आर कर्म आर प्रारद कर्म फेट यांति लीड्स हूम दि भूता दि बीइंग्स आर फेट टेक्स केयर ऑफ अस निग्रह किं क्य वाट विल युअर कंट्रोल टू सो इफ यू सी Krishna Rama they all came and they all advised Bhagwan Bhaskara and other great acharyas they all came they all taught and they all tried to uplift us <laughs> how many of us got really uplifted <laughs> if we had listened to them then we will not be here now because the cycle of birth and death ends the moment you understand the truth and we were just going through the motion of trying to understand and that is the reason we have the glimpse of the past that is neither illusion the experience is neither illusion nor knowledge it is glimpse of past it is because you have no possibility of having that kind of knowledge you have not studied you have not uh, undergone any training into spirituality there is no possibility of that knowledge and then where did this knowledge come from suddenly that experience is because of the past life so until and unless we understand this reality you cannot change anyone then should i leave everything to fate we are talking about let others life be left to fate you don't interfere in that take care of your life with respect to your life with respect to your goal of your life you should have to use the free will don't use your free will on others use your free will on yourself use the fate on others let their fate take care of you <laughs> themselves <laughs> so 
when we sit and think just that one second see i was not into spirituality not into religion was a young boy of 2021 bubbling with all that energy and the, with the great ideas philanthropic ideas and had dreams the worldly dreams all of that suddenly changed with one accident one simple accident it is not life threatening accident it was a simple accident that simple accident which could have become a life threatening accident made me question what would have happened if there was a vehicle behind me a heavy vehicle if there is a vehicle normal vehicle he would have hit and run and i would have i might not have died on spot but after some days or something but here there is no possibility if there is a heavy vehicle in that road it is not just death death instantly i <laughs> i i will not even be picked up from the road i would have been <laughs> walked away from the road that is the possibility sweep and collect that is the possibility that instance made me question what if why am i born where will i go after death all these questions this is a question for every being this is not a question which needs intellect every being has this question every being does not admit that he faces this question <laughs> we run away from this question actually this is a very dangerous question we don't have answer and we don't want to find the answer because we don't know what's on the other side of this question we are afraid of it in in uh, yoga sutra he talks about five kleshas five troubles five disturbances in life five kinds of thought function which disturbs us avidya asmita raga dvesha abhinivesha five types of disturbances avidya ignorance asmita identity ego raga desire dvesha hatred these are common things which are we are, we are experiencing the fifth one is a, the most dreaded of all this abhinivesha abhinivesha means fear of death every being has the fear of death every being has the fear of death they just live without thinking about it we do have the fear of death and we know to think about it we just avoid it we avoid it like a unpleasant friend an unpleasant person whom we encounter an unpleasant activity which happened an unpleasant wound which we are when we when we got when we were hurt this question is the key of our life whatever we are doing whatever we are doing whatever we are achieving we are not achieving for the sake of that career or anything we are achieving for the sake of avoiding the answer to this question if we sit for 2 seconds we are afraid that this question may pop up we don't want to face that question so okay next what we keep ourselves so busy we keep our mind so busy that is like you you keep your mind under sedation of these different type, types of things that is why we don't want 
to face this question then we don't want the answer for this question that is why we neither want spirituality nor religion and in religion this question cannot be answered this question cannot be answered but there is hope for living that is the one thing which religions give religion gives hope but when you come to spirituality and especially in vedanta you gain the answer for this question once for all but again the only question other than this question of fear of death is are we ready are we really ready are we really ready to ask that question are we really ready to know the answer are we really ready to ask the question and are we really ready to know the answer no it is not easy because even in death bed the the i've seen people 95 plus years lying in death bed still having the hankering of living still having the desire for living not living lying down when we you, you are young and energetic when you have all that bubbling energy you just can't accept that to be a living you will say eh, what kind of living is that but at that point of time that person thinks that is the life doesn't want to die there was an old movie in which this old man who always lies in the cot he wants one thing every day morning which is a small cartoon strip which will come in the daily paper he want it's it's a it's a cartoon strip of a, a, a story which probably started when the paper started so it's called sindbad so this three piece cartoon strip this fellow is is trying to get his lady love back the lady love is uh captured by this magician and for killing him he has to cross seven rivers seven mountains and inside the mountain there is a cave he should have to destroy some animals on the way and inside the cave there is a cage inside that cage which is protected by some deadly animals inside that cage there is this parrot inside that parrot is is this magician's life you cannot kill him directly and this story is not going to end any time but that old fellow lying in the death bed he wants what happened to that story today <laughs> that one small joy of life is what is holding us and keeping us alive we just want to avoid avoid this fear that we have another story we say this fellow was chased by a tiger while being chased by a tiger he falls inside a well and uh, he does not want to fall so he grasps for th- something and he catches hold of some grass dry grass he is holding on to dry grass and from the side comes a slithering snake he cannot go up because there is this tiger and from the side there is snake what a terrible pain and he cannot hold on to this grass also it's a dry grass it's coming off at that point 
a drop of honey falls in his lips he is there is a drop of honey which is about to fall he is <laughs> he wants to have that drop we are surrounded by death but we don't want to recognize it when you are not ready to recognize it you are avoiding it this question of spirituality will never enter your life so when are we ready there is a cartoon which people forward again and again in whatsapp small young boy oh he does not understand he is not ready i am not ready now i am a baby okay when you are youth i am not ready i have the life to live okay when he is a young man oh i have to get married and settle i am not ready yet for bhagavad gita okay when he is middle aged what are you talking i am so busy in the office and other career things where do i have time for bhagavad gita great after retirement oh, now it's time for me to play with <laughs> the <laughs> play with the grandchildren it's not i am not ready yet after that i am too tired for all bhagavad gita etc and then <laughs> you will never be ready <laughs> it's over so when are we ready even if we are not ready to take the plunge we should have to make ourselves open to this knowledge because this is this is a rare thing we have the opportunity we have been given the beautiful birth of being a born as a human being భగవాన్ భాష్యకార సేస్ మనుష్యత్వ మోక్షత్వ మహాపురుష వంశయ త్రయం ఏత దుర్లభం లోకే దైవానుగర హేతుకం వేగ చూడమని మనుష్యత్వం బీయింగ్ బాన్ అస్ అ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ మోక్షత్వం హ్యావింగ్ డిజైర్ ఫార్ ది సెల్ఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ అండ్ మహాపురుషం శ్రేయ అసోసియేషన్ విత్ హోలీ మెన్ త్రయం ఏత ఆల్ ది స్త్రీ దుర్లభం లోకే ఇస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు గెయిన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ నాట్ ఇంపాసిబుల్ డిఫికల్ట్ దైవానుగ్రహ హేతుకం దే ఆర్ గెయిన్డ్ ఓన్లీ త్రూ ది గ్రేస్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ వెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్ దీస్ అట్లీస్ట్ టూ అట్లీస్ట్ వన్ అమంగ్ దీస్ త్రీ ఇఫ్ వీ వేస్ట్ ఇట్ దెన్ హీ ఈస్ రెఫర్ టు అస్ స్టేన అతీఫ్ వన్ హూ స్టీల్స్ హిస్ సెల్ఫ్ త్రూ ఇగ్నోరెన్స్ so the opportunity which knocks at the door it's very difficult because if we don't recognize it it is not going to come there is there was a great great man mukha panchashati he wrote a text called mukha panchashati they don't even know his name it's a great man who wrote this text called there probably there is a name but wrote this beautiful text called mukha panchashti 500 poems of a dumb person what's this this is a great work on the goddess of kanchipuram kamakshi he was not just mukha he was also murkha he was not just dumb he was an idiot how did he write this there was a tantric a goddess devotee who used to apply black magic and all that but he was a great he was a devotee of this goddess and he wanted to have the vision of this goddess the goddess said okay 
direct vision immediate experience he said okay i'll come tomorrow night i'll give you the vision this fellow was ready okay today she is going to come i am going to have darshan he calls his disciple and tells allow no one like the first day i said the ganapati he created ganapati god has created ganapati and said allow no one like this this fellow said allow no one inside okay the disciple was waiting outside and this fellow inside and there comes this lady with a beetle leaves and beetle nuts chewing beetle leaves and you i want to meet him i have an appointment no way he said allow no one no we have an appointment i have to meet him no he thinks this lady has come for some solution for her problems no when she says no i i have promised to come at this time and i have to go she says no and it's okay while going back she just spits the beetle leaves which she is chewing and that falls in the mouth of this dumb dull person who becomes a great saint and that is nothing no none other than the goddess herself who kept her promise the idea is even if we are religious even if the god appears in front of us we are in no way ready for the goddess or god we are in no way ready i keep saying this what will happen what will you do if god appears in front of you i last for lotto i last for peace world peace all these people say nothing the truth is you will run away from that you will run away from there you are not ready to face god it is like this beautiful story small story but a good story written by rabindranath tagore he says this man is in search of god he runs here and there he goes here and there in search of god one day he sees this god in the far distance he reduces the distance and closes on him at that point this god opens a gate goes up the staircase open the main door enters the door closes the door and goes inside this fellow he found the house of god he came to that door gate he opened he climbed up the staircase he was about to knock the door and at that point he just stopped okay what will happen god will say open the door and ask yes what will i say what will happen to me after that at least still i had the quest of search of god when i have found him what will happen to me he removes his slippers so that the sound should not disturb god and say who is that <laughs> he should not even recognize that i came here so he came, comes out very silently and runs away from that and what is he doing he is in search of god but he will not go to that street <laughs> he will search in all the other places except that place in that way there is this possibility of search only when we have the desire inside the self we are talking about is nothing other than us me i which we keep repeating again and again and again and again without even knowing i was talking about this instance in it is here also i refer to that in india there was this court case regarding the same sex marriage and during the discussion this chief justice of india is telling the government lawyer see on a whole if you are going to discuss there can be no concept of a man or woman absolute concept of man or woman that's his word 
absolute concept of man or woman. And the government lawyer is like, But my lord, man matlab means man. Exact words it is. Man matlab means man. Woman means woman. Who is right actually? Is the chief justice right or is the lawyer right? Man means man, woman means woman. And the chief justice says there is no absolute concept of man or woman. Of course, Chief Justice is right. Is the lawyer wrong? Of course, he is not wrong. How can that be? The Chief Justice does not understand one point that it is not just limited to the concept of man or woman. There is no absolute concept of anything possible. We are all in this world dealing with superfluous concepts. We accept a person as man due to some physical conditions. We accept a person as woman due to some physical conditions. We accept something as something due to some conditions. There is nothing absolute here in this world. We don't even know what we are talking about. And sometimes, oh, it's so hot today. Global warming. Ask this idiot whoever talks about global warming. What is global warming? He will not be able to say, Oh, last year it was less hot. This year it is more hot. Then ask him why it was so cold again in the winter. Last year it was cold. This year it is colder. Global warming, it should go up. <sighs> why? Because we are discussing superfluously. We don't have knowledge of anything in depth. When we start questioning the knowledge, when we start questioning the things, objects, we can't define anything. This table itself cannot be defined as a table. Try it. Four legs. We have four legs. That's not a table. We have four legs. This is not a table. We have four legs for the cord. That is not a table. What may differentiate this from that? You cannot say it's smaller, it's bigger, etc. There's always an a compromise which we take to understand things because we don't want to understand. We are happy with that superfluous definitions, superfluous understanding. So until and unless we want to know the truth, we want to, I want to know the truth, no one can teach you. We have a saying in Tamil. <clears throat> this is driven into our head by our parents. Because we are all good kids. So they say, you cannot insert the soreness inside the tamarind. It should be natural. You should not impregnate it with the, the soreness. You cannot impregnate the tamarind with its soreness. Similarly, until and unless we want to know this, no amount of studying, no amount of listening is useful. We should be ready for this. How are we, how will we be ready? We want to understand it. We have to want to understand it. We have to desire to understand it. Only then all this will be useful. Okay. Hari Om.